I'm going to have to replace the blinds in my bedroom window. My cats got them tore all to pieces. And for some reason, they like to hang in here. I guess because the windows where they can look out, they like to look out windows. That's Reese over there in the far right. And that's Chunky. And that's Houdini. I'm surprised the other ones aren't in here. But they sure like my bed. Reese's. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, you want to climb on me? Well, they got uh, some shrubs planted around the house. But you know what? I think those are the gustrums. And that is an inexpensive shrub, and they didn't spend much money on that, I can tell you that. They needed some other shrubs in there besides them things. But they're pretty inexpensive. So it looks like the house is ready to move into. So I don't know what what the deal is. It's been over a year since they started building this. Yes, it is. Well, I got my new hose hooked up and everything, but I still don't have a nozzle. So I got a clamp right there on the hose and I'm clamping it shut. So I still ain't going, I can't get a nozzle so right around the first. So I got plants dying up here that I've not been getting. What is she doing? What is she doing? Does she just turn it off or turn it on? I don't know. I gotta get some of this stuff watered. I found two plants a while ago. These golden dew drops. Did you turn that water off? No, I didn't turn the water off. Okay. Who's he talking to? Hey. But these 
These two dew drops, they were sitting out there under the hedge. I didn't know I, I was carrying water to everything, but I missed these, and they just about did. But I just watered them good. <sighs> I've got more out back. I need to go check on them. Need to check on them. Well, they fixing to put in a lawn on this plank. I remember back in the day when <laughs> the only way you got a lawn was to plant one in a new house. But that's been a long time ago. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's got a bunch over there. Look how he's doing that. He's, I thought they rolled that out by hand. But I guess not. Look how he's doing that. Look how he's doing that. Now what's he doing? Yep, that is some crappy lawn. Now, back in the day, years ago, if I seen something sitting out like that, I would grab it. It's not tore up, it needs cleaning, and that arm needs fixing. And I could repair that. Real, I could repair it real fast. I could spend about an hour on it and make it look brand new. 
Yeah, that arm could be fixed. That's not a lazy boy. Well, I don't know. Let me look on the other side. That could be. Yes, it is. It's a lazy boy. I can make a new cover for that handle. Well, wait a minute. It's split up there at top. Nope. That wouldn't work. Too much time and effort. But that arm would be easy fixed. But it's split up there at the top. Well. I wonder what kind of bush is. I'm pretty sure these are not edible or anything, but I just, I've often wondered what kind. I, I know birds eat them. God, I've seen birds flying along and poop that's been eating them things and it shows up in their poop. <laughs> They're kind of pretty. They're kind of pretty. Look at that. Just loaded with them. I wonder what they are. Does anybody know? I don't know. Look at that nice juicy orange. It's starting to turn color. Getting close. That one's kind of small. Look at them, man. <laughs> oh, them things are so good. I wonder, I see one right over there that fell on the ground, and I'm wondering if it's any good. I'm going to find out. You know, I was sitting here worrying about stuff, you know, with the finances and uh, my daughter came in here and tapped me on the back and showed me this uh, hundred dollar bill, a new one that said, have you seen the new hundred dollar bills? And I said, no. And then she showed me a handful of hundred dollar bills. There was 10 of them. Got a thousand dollars. I'm like, where in the world did you get that? And 
and she said, I had, I did, I had this insurance that I didn't know I had, and she, it was some kind of accidental insurance of some kind, and I'm like, what? She said, yeah, I got three thousand and something dollars today. <laughs> and I was sitting here worrying about that, worrying about it. And, uh, you know, she was going back to work tomorrow night. But when she went to the doctor today about, you know, to get a clearance to go back to work, and they had to reset something on her phone. It had slipped out of joint or something again. So she's not going back to work tomorrow. She's got out, going to be out for three weeks, three more weeks. But her getting all that money today is over three thousand dollars, and uh. So she's paid, she, she, she's paying the rent in the morning. She's already paid the almost a $700 light bill to catch the light bill up. She paid car insurance and a couple of other things. I'm like, can you get me a novel for the hose out there tomorrow? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I am so freaking relieved. Oh, and the internet's paid. <laughs> Internet space. So it's not, it's not going on. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, but like almost the first thing out of my mouth about give me this, I want a nozzle for the hose. I've been hand carrying water. <sighs> wow. I'm gonna do a, a, a video about these hoses. That is a big reel. It's got a lot of problems with it, and people don't realize it till they get them. But, I wonder if my coffee's still hot. Nope. And the guy, the man on my, uh, my, uh, uh, is that thing come on? Is that thing plugged in? No. My phone. <laughs> 
my handicap phone, just one I can hear and make calls on and everything. Uh, the man's gonna be here tomorrow to fix it, find out what's what's wrong with it. For some reason, it's not. He won't make a call, and it won't receive a call. So there's something. It works off of my my smartphone. My smartphone has to be in the house and it has to be on. And then I plug this into the wall. And as long as my smartphone's in the house and on, it's supposed to ring and all that stuff. So I got several calls I need to make. Wow. I am so freaking relieved. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And they put, they laid down sod on the yard lawn out here at this house next door that just got built. And boy, it's a real crappy grass. They didn't put down the real, you know, the real nice stuff. They put down some kind of economical stuff. I don't know. It looks terrible. Maybe it'll green up somewhat after it rains. I'm surprised they didn't put sprinklers out on it because that's what you're supposed to do when you lay sod. But they got it down. Whew. They got it down. And, uh, and the shrubs, they put shrubs in yesterday. And it's in and stinking ligustrum. Uh, ligustrum's all right in places, but to line the whole front of the house with that ligustrum, it looks, it, they didn't put down nice stuff, you know, like petal them or, or, or put down a nice decorative plant like uh, gardenia or camellia or something like that. So, uh, all cheap stuff. Of course, it looks better than it did. But I wonder if that means somebody's going to be moving in soon. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, I just thought I'd mention that. I'm going to wrap this video up. I got up this morning at 4 o'clock, and I haven't been to bed since, so that means what? 4 o'clock this afternoon was 12 hours, and 1, 2, 7. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I've been up 19 hours. I have dozed a little bit. I sit out there on the deck a lot and doze. And it's 11 o'clock right now. So I'm going to try to get this video fixed. Um... Wow. And she didn't tell me nothing about her when she got that money to that. She didn't tell me nothing. I should have knew something was up. When she took Jaden to school this morning, I didn't see her no more till uh till she come home with Jaden. And, uh, see that cat walking back there? I swear they, I don't know why all of a sudden they're 
there's Houdini and Diamond and of course Bailey. Hey Houdini, hey Diamond, you're a good boy. All right, see there you go, knocking stuff over already. Come on, come here baby, come here. Come on, that's a good boy. Papa loves you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do love my baby. Yeah, it's my baby boy. Yes, you are. Say hello. Say meow. Say meow. I love you so much. You know I do. They're my big baby. Yeah. Can you open your eyes? Yeah, you want to go. Okay. Go ahead. I love that boy so much. I never seen a cat with with them fangs. He's got them teeth. He almost looks like Dracula, especially when he yawns. And them teeth stick. You can see them with his mouth closed. They're sticking out there. They're so long. Uh, but anyway, <sighs> now I got now I can make some plans. Now I can make some plans. Now that I wonder why my camera's not. I don't know. See my shirt. This is that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. This is my Ricky Lance shirt. I I, I appreciate t-shirts. I don't I don't have many t-shirts anymore. I, I'm I'm. Uh, I would like to buy me some junk over t-shirts, but I can't afford them things. The only t-shirts I can afford if I go to Goodwill and they have t-shirts in there for two bucks. I may, let's see, how many more days will pay these here, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, five more days in the eagle poops. Uh, <laughs> that's what we used to say in the army and military. We always got paid around the first. And most of the guys would be going out and say, well, the eagle shits today or the eagle shits tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> and they all, they paid in cash. You didn't get a check. They they would they would you go to your set, your battery or your company, and the commanding officer would be in there with a table set up there, and he'd have a stack of money in there, and he'd be oh well paying. He'd be counting out the money to you. And um, they had a thing in the army. What didn't have anything to do with the army. This was just the people, and it was against the rules and regulations and all that. There's always guys in the army wanting to borrow money from individuals. Like there was a one guy. He was a sergeant. His name was Parker, Sergeant Parker. And you could go up to him and say, Sergeant, I need to borrow some money. And he'd say, how much? And if you said you wanted to borrow $10, that meant come payday. He'd be standing out there around that, that line, and you'd have to pay him. If you borrowed $10, you have to pay him 15 And uh, if you borrowed uh twenty dollars you had to pay him back thirty. So that is 
that is so much interest, but people did it, you know, and uh, uh, it, it it, people say, well, that, like, it, that's only certain, certain percent and everything, but, and they, they always preaching against that borrowing money like that, and you weren't supposed to do it. But I don't know how much that man made every month. He probably made more back in the interest that he charged than his pay, than his pay was for the month. Sergeant Parker, I did that one time. I borrowed money from him one time till till Captain Canan, that was our captain of our battery, and he he seen me paying Parker back. He said, "How much? How much did you just pay him?" And uh, I think it was it was uh, it was I think I, I borrowed twenty dollars, so I paid him back thirty. And when he asked me how much, I said, I told him, and he said, "You realize how much interest that was." <laughs> It was, he explained to me how, how high, it was way up there. But you only borrow it for a month, then you have to pay him back. And if you happen not to pay him back, uh, if you have, like, if you owed him $30 because he borrowed 20 and you didn't pay him back, guess what? You still had to pay him the twenty, but you had to pay him uh, forty dollars to cover the twenty and another month. So yeah, it 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 that man was making money, and he got I, all, all I know he got away with it. I don't know. I think I heard one time they was going to transfer him out of the uh, out of out of our battery or out of out of twenty eighth artillery into something else. So, but he didn't want to do it because he had a nice little thing going there, and he wanted to ride that as long as he could ride it. Anyway, folks. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. See there? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky Lance, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.